can you see my screen now? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can see. We can see. Yeah. We can see you, not your screen. Oh, okay. Uh, you cannot see my screen? Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Let me see how to screen share. Screen share. Yeah. Coming now? Yes, coming, sir. Coming. Um, good afternoon, uh, uh, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you, Professor, uh, Professor Dr. Uh, Shahi Trama, the president of the webinar and principal from the uh, Sivin Teshwara University in uh, Tirupati, right, in Chennai. And uh, uh, Mr. Uh, MC uh, Sudha Sanam, right? If I'm pronouncing uh, your name uh, incorrectly, please uh, uh, forgive me, sir. Okay, sir. Go ahead, sir. Okay. So, uh, 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 thank you for uh, inviting me and, and uh, give me an uh, opportunity to uh, share of my, uh, uh, some of my work and my thoughts on this uh, uh, wonderful full uh, international uh, webinar. So I would like to just share the, some idea and, and, and my work that we, uh, been uh, working in this uh, uh, region in Thailand, in Malaysia, in Vietnam, and some part of uh, Cambodia and Laos. So uh, my main topic would be uh, a little bit uh, focusing on the commercial side. Yeah, but uh, uh, I think it uh, would be uh, uh, something interesting for uh, some of you. So uh, currently, I'm uh, working as a, a CEO of the, the company called uh, Suan Pinkan, which is the uh, total solution uh, provider uh, for the agriculture uh, uh, agribusiness in Thailand, uh, as well as in the uh, neighboring country. And uh, recently, I uh, uh, part of the uh, founder, uh, another new company uh, is called uh, Plantology, which is focusing on the cannabis uh, project in Thailand. So um, uh, as the topic today, we are main focusing on urban agriculture, urban farming. Uh, I think uh, uh, during the, uh, this uh, difficult time of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, uh, let us grow our own food together for fresh and healthy. That would be an uh, interesting uh, topic today. Um, so far, our experience, we uh, started our uh, uh, business from a, a seed uh, uh, business. So from breeding of the vegetables uh, and uh, seed and, and, and also the flowers. Then we have uh, gained knowledge and uh, experience from the uh, different different uh, uh, crops, different um, cultivation methodology. And uh, also we learn from the, um, the farmer and themselves. And, and then we come up with the, uh, uh, different solutions in order to address the uh, challenge uh, uh, of cultivation these days when we are facing the uh, global warming and uh, also the climate change. Uh, also, we have extend our business into greenhouses uh, uh, in, in the market. Uh, they are uh, different size of the um, uh, greenhouse market like uh, big farm, uh, medium farm, and small farm. Yeah. Uh, especially uh, just for recent, a recent year, uh, we have started to uh, construct the, uh, the farm in the city, which is not far from the uh, center of Bangkok. And it's going to be a wonderful uh, uh, urban farming in, in, uh, in soon. Now we are constructing about uh, uh, more than one hectare of uh, greenhouse to grow uh, uh, vegetables like uh, tomato, uh, melons, uh, lettuce, yeah. So uh, after we uh, uh, been the uh, 
mostly the customer uh, uh, in the market, they are not from agriculture only. They are investors, they are from different, different sectors. So ultimately, when they want to start agriculture project, they need someone, uh, I mean, they need the, uh, uh, your knowledge, they need the uh, technical support, they need the uh, solutions. So our company has uh, uh, provided a uh, total package to uh, many um, uh, corporations, uh, which I can mention, like like uh, Petico and uh, some uh, processing company uh, in Thailand, also in neighboring countries. So um, I would like to talk about what what are the, what what is the uh, complete solution to overcome the challenge for the uh, soilless conservation BC. So. Uh, first thing that uh, uh, you have to understand uh, uh, that uh, what crop varieties or kind of the uh, 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 produce that you are going to do farming, right? You have to select a good seed, uh, good quality, and the right variety to grow uh, as per um, uh, local conditions. Yeah, and also uh, it, uh, it's very important to, uh, to understand that how to make a good soil. And it's not only just the soil, and you need to uh, to know that the, the all the qualities uh, that require for um, irrigating to the crop to the entire crop in order to achieve uh, uh, a high yield and also to uh, uh, when you prepare the uh, nutrients and uh, then it should be compatible uh, uh, with the i mean all the nutrients should be compatible uh, and also uh, uh, available for the uh, uh, crop uh, during the entire uh, growing phase, yeah. So this we call hard rain. Then the, also we must have uh, uh, or must provide that uh, cultivation practice. Uh, what I mean is that uh, growing techniques, because the different uh, cultivation methods uh, or crops are requiring different techniques, uh, uh, growing techniques, and sometimes uh, you need to understand that what will be the uh, 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 challenge that you're going to face, like uh, pest uh, disease or uh, nutrients the deficiencies. And uh, if you want to produce the higher yield per square meter, what are the uh, uh, growing tips you need to um, uh, to input into the, uh, the the crop in order to achieve that uh, uh, level of uh, expected uh, yield? Yeah, and ultimately. Um, you you need to uh, understand also that uh, you want to sell the produce and the consumer is the is the king. So um, the customer will buy your produce. They they are really uh, concerned about a, uh, uh, a quality standard. So uh, it's very important that uh, you are running the farm uh, for commercial uh, uh, for uh, commercializations. But at the end of the the process you don't have the um, uh, standard, quality standard or food safety standard, then you cannot sell your product and cannot uh, get the good price from the market. So uh, these processes are very uh, important. So all these process I call software, right? So the, the concept uh, in our company, we call that, uh, uh, we call ourselves that we should be able uh, to um, uh, uh, to give this uh, support to the customer, uh, uh, apart from uh, providing the hardware and also uh, uh, software, then we need to help them to think about the uh, commercial way, meaning how to run a success, uh, successful uh, uh, farming, yeah, because ultimately you need to make profit. And, uh, and if you invest on your land, you invest on uh, equipment and uh, uh, expenditure on the farm. And uh, what year you, you're going to uh, uh, to have uh, to, to be break even, and uh, uh, what uh, size of the uh, profitability you are looking for? So this concept uh, from our, uh, our partner, from our team, we call CBC, meaning. Uh, once you have farm, you, 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 you want to start the, the farm, you, you have to think about uh, uh, the content. Yeah? The content means your passion to grow uh, something and you have to make the design. You have to decide first so that you can understand that uh, what the, the investment you're going to put and what uh, um, uh, inputs that you require and what kind of the 
uh, expertise you require for running a textile farm. Yeah. Then make it over. So you have to see that uh, this uh, uh, unit of the farm can uh, can run into the business uh, like uh, three years or five years or uh, if it takes uh, longer, like uh, ten years, are you able to uh, to be to be able to um, to success uh, uh, the this business or not? Yeah. Uh, ultimately, you have to connect to the market, yeah, to get uh, to to have a sustainable uh, growth in the business. So this we have to um, uh, to support uh, what this what uh, what we are providing to our customer. Yeah, we call brainware. So in this process, all together we learn from our cust all the customer in the, in the chain, and uh, we have the knowledge. We are sharing our experience, and then we uh, 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 receive the feedback and result, and then we improve it in order to. Uh, make it uh, better and uh, uh, develop it further for the uh, 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 new way of the uh, running the uh, urban uh, agriculture. So then we, when we give, uh, uh, we do the uh, 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 complete solution for them. We we can offer them also the total package. Yeah, it's just not only just to to make it a complete, uh, beautiful, comprehensive uh, proposals. We have to make uh, help them to to really really to uh, help the customer uh, succeed the project. These are all we we have uh, been doing in our um, uh, uh, business here. Yeah, and mainly the uh, customer in the chain they ensure that they have a uh, uh, quality of life. So uh, you have to ask yourself what uh, uh, what is your uh, the passion? I mean, what crop you want to grow? Uh, some uh, some crop is your passion, but it's difficult to to uh, cultivate in your uh, particular uh, zone or particular area because uh, it's required a specific uh, 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 conditions to grow that crop. Yeah. So uh, this is some of the work that we did. Uh, so we have to make uh, uh, in in terms of uh, in order to produce the. Um, uh, Maximum yield per square meter. Uh, the most one of the most important thing is the uh, fertigation program and the and and uh, inputs you're going to give. Yeah, this is one of example that I did for our customer uh, in Vietnam uh, to help them to grow uh, melon and to achieve higher uh, yield per square meter. So so we we are providing all this uh, uh, information for them. As you can see here, uh, instead of uh, producing uh, one fruit of uh, Japanese melon per one plant, we, we find out the technologies how to grow them uh, up to two, three fruit, even four fruit per plant in order to to uh, achieve uh, maximum yields per square meter so that you can uh, uh, can break even or uh, uh, faster uh, profitable uh, project. So in some small uh, uh, town or uh, small farm, we, uh, uh, or we call a startup. Uh, 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 in Thailand, uh, there's a lot of young smart farmer farm. They start with a, a small scale uh, project. So even the, like uh, uh, 200, uh, uh, 300 square meter, you can do the business. Yeah. So this is the simple uh, soil culture uh, that we are providing the total package uh, for um, those uh, young smart farmer running a uh, urban farming uh, just uh, next to the uh, uh, center of the city so that they can uh, uh, sell the produce uh, uh, to the uh, local market yeah and some of idea that uh, in a big city like uh, uh, Bangkok or uh, Hanyai or Chiang Mai there are a lot of uh, uh, buildings uh, in the top group, you can use it, uh, utilize it uh, for growing something. Yeah, maybe you can uh, have a vertical farming uh, and uh, grow some vegetables or some herbs. Even also, you can uh, 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 do the mini aquaculture. Yeah, like this, uh, we have uh, some uh, um, uh, some cave. the uh, uh, quality, yeah, in a high quality so that uh, you can serve to the restaurant, 
in the uh, supermarket. Yeah, this is the uh, uh, one example that I visited uh, a couple of years ago in uh, in Israel. So they have they cultivate in the top roof, uh, uh, top roof of the um, uh, supermarket uh, uh, shopping center, and then they deliver the uh, fresh produce directly to the restaurant in the uh, uh, shopping mall. So ultimately, the quality and safety uh, standard is required is the uh, required by the uh, consumer because the uh, standard is the peaceful life for the consumer so when you are thinking of doing uh, uh, urban farming uh, it's very important that you uh, need to have this uh, 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 standard uh, or uh, quality certification in order to to um, uh, to sustain the uh, farming business yeah, so this is all my uh, tough or uh, information I would like to share with you. Thank you.